remove the plastic caps from either side of the frame. These can be disposed of. Assemble the bucket onto the rear of the frame by pushing down firmly until both snap features on the underside of the bucket engage with the frame. Ensure the hole on the top of the bucket and frame are aligned. Feed the M5 by 52 bolt through both holes and capture on the other side with an M5 nylock nut. Use a wrench to hold the nut in place while tightening the screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. Slide one of the rear wheels over the rear axle. Ensure the spacer is facing away from the hubcap. Next, slide the axle through the rear portion of the frame. Slide the other rear wheel onto the axle. Prop the product on its side so the wheel captured by the existing hubcap is faced down. Place a hubcap over the exposed end of the axle. Hammer the hubcap in place. Pop the wheel covers in place along each wheel, ensuring the two tabs on the rear of the cover are aligned with the two slots in the wheel. You should hear them snap into place. Remove the plastic cap from the fork. Then, slide the front fender over the fork of the front wheel assembly. Align the two teeth inside the head tube with the grooves on either side of the fork before sliding the front wheel assembly into place. Slide the cup holder into place on the stem of the handlebar. The holder should face away from the curve of the handlebar. Next, slide the clamp cover followed by the clamp over the handlebar stem. Slide the handlebar assembly over the top of the fork. Ensure the bottom of the clamp is flush with the bottom of the stem. Also, ensure the slot in the stem is aligned with the slot in the clamp. Secure the handlebar by tightening the clamp with the provided Allen wrench. Detach the bottom portion of the harness from the headset by undoing both buckles. Clip the bottom portion of the harness to the tab located in the seat mount. Slide an M6 by 16 bolt through both holes and capture each with an M6 nylock nut. Align the holes in the seat with the forwardmost set of holes on the seat mount. Please note, this is the only set position that will accommodate the baby hoop. Set an M6 washer in each of the bolt locations on the seat. Use a wrench to hold the nut in place while tightening the screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. To fit the baby hoop in place, starting with the open side of the hoop, Slide at an angle toward the handlebar stem. Align the hoop with the cup holder. Next, bring the arms of the hoop up behind the seat until they align with the two locking locations on either side of the seat. To secure the seat in place, turn the lock knobs clockwise until tight.
To assemble the headrest, start by turning the lock knob on the back of the headrest counterclockwise until the back of the headrest swings free from the rest of the part. Fit the oval shaped feature on the headrest into the cutout in the top of the seat. Close and secure the headrest by turning the lock knob clockwise until tight. To assemble the canopy, unfold the canopy arms. Next, open the canopy by pulling either side of the canopy away from the center. Slot the canopy arms in place on the rear of the seat. Ensure the buttons on either arm are facing away from the seat before snapping the canopy in place. The buttons will snap into place on the back of the seat. You can then adjust the canopy position once it's on the trike. To assemble the push handle, start by loosening the locking collar. Next, slide the lower portion down as far as it will go. Tighten the locking collar once the handle is fully extended. Place the handle on the table with the groove facing down. Set the front handle cover in place over the top of the handle. Please note, the front cover is the one with the radio flyer decal. Set the rear cover in place on the opposite side of the front cover. Secure the two halves of the cover by screwing four ST 4.2 by 12 screws into each of the holes. Slide the push handle into the frame just in front of the bucket. Please note the handle will only fit one way. Be sure the side of the handle with the groove is facing toward the bucket. Lock the push bar to the frame by pushing the pin into the hole at the bottom of the handle. Your front wheel has a locking feature. When it's locked, the pedals will move with the wheel. When it's unlocked, the pedals will move independent of the wheel. Press the center hub of the wheel to lock. Before assembling the footrest, Pull the hub out from the wheel. This puts the trike in push mode by allowing the wheel to spin freely of the pedals. Prop the trike up on its rear end with the front wheel facing up. Clip the footrest in place onto both cranks. Next, rotate the footrest forward until you are able to clip the footrest to either side of the fork. To adjust the handlebar, loosen the locking collar, move the upper portion of the push bar to the desired height, and tighten the locking collar. You are now ready to roll.